Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. First of all, I would like to thank you for subscribing and supporting my YouTube channel. My video presentation today is about how to avoid main lines of openings such as the Nimsu Indian Defense and the Bogo Indian Defense. If you are a deeper player, we are going to study about the Krasenko variation, which is the idea of Grandmaster Mikhail Krasenko. Firstly, we go to the diagram A. As you can see, the main position. Let's start by playing d4, then knight f6, c4, e6, knight c3, bishop b4. This is the Nimso engine defense. Now let's go to the Bogo engine defense. We start by playing d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3, bishop b4, then bishop d2. So this is the Bogo engine defense. To be able to study these openings, such as the Nimso and Bogo engine, you need books, you need to understand all the lines, because the main idea of these openings is to castle early and create a imbalance position in the middle game such as having also a great good pawn structure and solid defense of this black opening now i'm suggesting that if you know that your opponent plays bishop b4 lines i suggest that you start by playing knight f3 first so we begin by checking the big chess board and we start by playing knight f3 as i show you the following line say knight f6 c4 then we use this line e6 knight c3 then bishop b4 if you notice we don't push d4 because that's the main plan of Nimso and Bogo Indian to create bad pawn structures for the white to take the knight at c3 so now I'm going to introduce you to Krasenko variation by moving g4 the idea of this variation is to tempt the knight at f6 to take the pawn at g4 which allows rook g1 and placing the king side under attack so let's continue there are around five variations so we first go to the knight g4 line which knight takes g4 then rock g1 there's knight f6 line rock takes knight c6 a3 there's two lines bishop takes knight and bishop f8 so we go to bishop f8 first bishop f8 rock g1 d5 cx d5 ex d5 d4 b6 bishop g5 pinning h6 bishop h4 bishop e7 e3 knight e4 bishop takes attacking the queen queen takes bishop b5 pin knight c3 bishop c6 bc6 and bx3 if you see the pawn structures are black 
has isolated pun double pun while the knight at f3 is much better than the black bishop as we go along to the other variation after knight g4 rook g1 then there's f5 then h3 knight f6 rook takes knight c6 a3 bishop takes Instead of dxc3, we need bxc3 because soon the knight at f6 will go to e4 square. So let's see. Knight e4, queen c2, queen f6, rook g1, d6, d3. Knight cannot take the c3 pawn because there's bishop b2. Knight c5, rook b1, not allowing black to castle at the queen's side. e5, d4, attacking the knight. Knight d7, bishop g5, attacking the queen. Queen f7, bishop h6, e4, attacking the knight. Knight d2, knight d7, e3, rook g8, rook takes, queen takes c5 pun takes bishop f4 attacking the pun at c7 knight d5 bishop h2 pun takes pun takes then as you can see white has two bishops with a promising position bishop at h2 attacking the pun at c7 now if black plays c6 there's knight c4, which having a great position. Now let's go to the other line, such as after g4, then h6, preventing g5. So we continue with a3, b7, d4, d5 g5 knight e4 pun takes pun takes queen c2 attacking the knight f5 protecting the knight bishop f4 knight c6 e3 bishop g5 attacking the bishop bishop g3 bishop goes back to f6 castles from this position the black king is uncastled and not yet developed so i prefer white here as we go along to an, another a variation after d4 then we analyze d5 so let's go by playing g5 knight e4 h4 protecting the opponent g5 Bishop c3, dc3, knight c6, bishop f4, dx c4, knight e5, queen takes, rook takes, knight d6, then bishop g2, having a great position. We go back again to other variations such as. b6 after g4 then b6 so let's go and study this line g5 knight h5 rook g1 bishop b7 e3 g6 bishop e2 bishop takes c3 bxc3 the idea is pawn is going at e3 then e3 e4 then bishop e3 so now we go to another variation which is d6 so after 
g4 then d6 okay let's continue with that line g5 knight fd7 queen c2 knight e5 knight takes e5 dx e5 a3 b7 h4 knight c6 e3 as we see white's position looks like a sicilian defense position so if you're a sicilian player then this would be very advantageous to you and at the same time starting from knight f3 knight f6 c4 e6 knight c3 bishop b4 actually white is playing a reverse sicilian i hope you enjoyed this presentation as we want to avoid the main lines of nimso engine and bogo engine by using 9 f3 and using also the cross and cob line g4 thank you so much for watching and god bless bye